hello how are you i'm doing fine but i'm really late for this update yet again nothing is new um but today i'll be updating my that's so 2000s project pan that i created in collaboration with fantastic ladies oh also my name's samar i also go by sam or first time panner whichever you like you can call me um anyway this will be the 10th update to that project it ends on april 16th it was a year-long project but if you haven't seen it's actually coming back for another year so it's kind of starting up again on the same day that it's ending so that actually wasn't my intention i just forgot to, to mention that i kind of wanted like a little bit of a break between projects but actually i think it works out a little bit because there are a lot of people who still want to get through the prompts that they haven't gotten through and then just continue with some of the new prompts that I added to the project for next year, which is round two. Um, and then there are some people who had to end early who wanted to jump in whenever they could so they can just start April and they already got to have their break. So anyway, that being said, <laughs> This is still the first year of That's So 2000s, um, hashtag that's so, that's so 2000s PP. Next year, it'll be round two starting April 16th. So we do have a few more, few, <sighs> please, I can't talk. So we do have a few more months of this project and I'm still trying to get through as many prompts as I can, but I definitely won't get through all of them, which is perfectly fine because next year what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm just going to um, randomize between all the prompts that I didn't get to this year, plus the 10 extra that I added. And then if I finish those, I'll just continue with the others, but I can talk about that during the introduction video for that project. And for now, let me get on to my actual update for this project. Also, hopefully this will be the last time for a while where we'll be on my dresser. Um, just as always, unexpected things came up and I wasn't able to film until I think it's like almost nine o'clock right now. And I didn't want to set up that whole thing or else I wasn't going to film at all. And I'm already very behind on lots of my videos. so. This is how it's going to be for now. My next video, I promise, will be back to my desired setup and I'll have to clean off my bed post over there. But um, I don't remember what order I rolled in all these products, so I'm just going to start with my three rollouts that I have. Um, the first one I'll talk about is for the prompt milkshake if you know you know i love that song so much um and that is any product you have to shake up i chose my garnier or garnier i still don't know how to pronounce it and i'm not gonna look it up if someone wants to tell me then i'll know but i'm not gonna look it up um but my garnier skin active micellar cleansing water the all-in-one waterproof version and this was the since it's the waterproof version it's the like bi-phase one where you have to shake it up so my goal was to finish this and I did there was only probably like this much left last month and I finished this maybe two weeks ago I went through it really quickly because um, I also ran out of my um, makeup removing balm and I was actually out of makeup remover for a while <laughs> so um, I since have repurchased this and that balm, so I'm totally stocked up now, but yeah, I'm glad that I got this done um, so I can just have a fresh one. Okay, my next, this one isn't an empty, but I was able to hit my goal on this, which is the e.l.f. Mint Melt No Budge Eyeshadow, and this was in for the prompt VHS, which is something you have to wind up, and you do have to wind this, um, like eyeshadow stick up and my goal was to get it just like underneath the packaging when you wind it all the way down which as you can see I did that I really loved using this um I paired it with my two single eyeshadows that I'm panning so I have 
another e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeshadow and then I have a Bobbi Brown another eyeshadow stick and I would just like um, alternate between using those two paired with this pretty much every day for work so it was just a really simple easy like go-to makeup look for me it's a really nice brown color it does have some sparkles in it but um, once you kind of like rub it in with your finger they mostly go away so it's pretty much just like a regular um, matte well not really matte but it dries completely down a regular dark brown and on my eyes i would say like because it's very sheer it ended up being kind of a medium brown for me so it wasn't too dark for work it was really perfect and honestly um i'm gonna double check that i don't have anything else in my collection that looks just like this i don't think i do but um if i don't i think i'm actually just gonna continue using this with my other single eyeshadows that i'm panning because i am trying to finish those and I don't really have any um, like cream shadows that I can just e easily put on without like primer and a brush. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I forgot what I'm saying. But anyway, I want to continue using this with those single shadows because it's really easy to use. That was very long and convoluted. I'm so sorry about that. <sighs> my last rollout is for the prompt, um, my lip gloss is popping another great song and the prompt for that was just any lip gloss so i chose my fenty beauty mini gloss bomb in the shade confetti which is just a oh you can huh, there are the flowers i got for valentine's day um this is just like um it's white but really it's clear it just shows up sheer on your lips and it has like um blue sparkles running throughout it so this was really nice and my goal was to use this 10 times which I easily did. I paired this with another lipstick that I had which was a dark brown with blue sparkles in it so I don't know why it feels so childish <laughs> saying sparkles but that's kind of what it is. Um, and I easily got through my 10 uses pairing it with that and I also had this in a different project prior to this for another 10 uses same thing i just paired it with that lipstick and i had this sitting on its side so you can't really see like where it is where the level is after about 20 uses but you can see there's like a lot of like windowing and there's like this giant hole in the product so um you use up a decent amount of product in these gloss bomb minis with just 20 uses i actually got through my hot chocolate uh, completely used it up after like just a few months of daily use so these are pretty easy to pan I don't know if Rihanna is going to come out with another set of minis if she does I would definitely buy them if they were in like the colors that I like um not right now but if she comes out with a holiday set I would definitely get a pack of these because I really love the gloss bomb formula she has really beautiful colors and you don't get so much product in here that it's kind of a chore to use up. You can use it up like within a really comfortable amount of time. Sorry, my cats were fighting. I don't think what I was saying was important anyway, so I'm going to move on. <laughs> so anyway, um, those are my three rollouts and now I'll get into the two items that are, or the two prompts that are still in this project from last month. The first one is, oh yeah. One piece. I like don't have my list of prompts in front of me because it's on my phone, which I'm filming with. But anyway, um, the prompt was One Piece, which is a never ending product. And I chose an eyeshadow palette um, because eyeshadow takes a really long time to get through. But specifically, I chose my um, Pat McGrath quads because I've seen a few people try to pan Pat McGrath and they said it took them a very, very, very long time. Um, and my goal wasn't to like finish or hit pan on anything. Um, I just wanted to use each shade in these quads once and I still have two out of the eight shades left. I'll show you which ones I used. This is the <laughs> Deep Space Divinity Quad. Oh, you're seeing that mess on my dresser. And then this is the Interstellar Icon Quad. And from this one, the Interstellar Icon, um, in my last video, I actually talked about what I was wearing on my eyes, which was 
these two palettes. So I had um, these two shades, this one and this one. And then I also had um, these two shades, this like um, bluish duochrome and then this kind of berryish color. And then I'm actually wearing the two other shades that I want so far right now. All over my lid, I'm wearing this color, which I thought at first was just like a deeper gold, almost bronzy color. But then it actually like when you look up close, it looks a little bit orange. Like I'm not wearing any orange eyeshadow, but as you can see, like on the outer edges, it does look a little bit orange. And then um, on the inner portion of my eyelid, I'm wearing this color right here just to like create a little bit of depth in the look. And so as you can see, like in this angle, everywhere that doesn't look orange right now is where that second shade is. So um, I still have a few more shades to wear, but I'm honestly not really in a rush. I really like these palettes. I'm so glad. I have forced myself to use these because I've had one of these for like a year and a half and the other one for at least half a year and I had never used either of them. Sorry, I got interrupted. Um, but as I was saying, I'm really glad that I pushed myself to use those quads because I've had both of them for a long time. So it was about time and I'm really glad I did because like, of course, I mean, they're Pat McGrath, they're expensive, but they're Pat McGrath, they're like amazing quality, really nice and beautiful colors that actually like all of the shades actually work on my skin tone, so I really like them. The last item that was in from last update, yeah, I think I rolled this one and the quads in last update, um, but was for the prompt Just Dance, which is any makeup item that you would only wear to a party. I kind of struggled with this and for next year, I think I'm going to open the prompt up to just anything in general that you would only wear to a party. Like even you could do a fragrance or something like that, not just makeup, because I feel like just makeup might be a little bit hard. It was difficult for me. Um, because I feel like usually I kind of just wear the same thing all the time, but I did choose a foundation because I usually only wear like liquid foundation for special occasions or filming. So if I'm going to like, I get together and I actually have time to get ready, I will usually put on liquid foundation. And for that, I chose the Makeup Forever HD Skin undetectable stay true foundation in the shade 2y36 or y365 and it's what i'm wearing now but i also have like a few other base products on and um last time i didn't have a marking because i wasn't prepared so um last time i was here and i think this is right now the fourth time that i'm wearing this since last update and now i'm down to here my goal is to finish this and since there are only two more months in this project, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know, I might surprise myself and I might start wearing this a lot. Maybe I'll have a bunch of different places to go to, um, but most likely not. But this is still four more uses than I probably would have had um, if I if this wasn't in the project so that's really good I don't even usually wear liquid foundation four times in a month I usually if at all I'm just wearing powder foundation so it's pretty good for me I really like this foundation and it's a really good color for me right now so I'm glad I'm getting these on it right now um hopefully I'll be able to finish this before it's summer and this is just too light for me um if not it's not a big deal because this is still relatively new. I got it not even a year ago, but yeah, that's the update for that. So I'll put in um, rolling the prompts that I got, the three prompts that I'm rolling in. And because I only had 12 prompts left and I didn't want to have to like remember um, each of the prompts that I've already done, um, I just numbered them one through 12 and then I put them like in order of how they're listed and I chose from there. I hope I'm getting the order of these correctly. Um, if not, 
you can call me out. I don't know. Sorry. I just, I'm not prepared for this. But um, I think the first prompt that I got was velour tracksuit, which is anything soft. And for that, I chose my, um, my Tarte. Tarte Quench Lip Rescue in the shade Berry. I really love these. I think they're being discontinued because they're pretty much all sold out at Sephora and they've been on sale for quite a long time. But basically, um, these are tinted lip balms and I chose this for a soft product because these are actually, you know those like lip gloss in sticks that you can buy this is pretty much like that um it might not be quite as soft but once you get it on the lips and it warms up it does become really glossy and if you press too hard it will kind of like collapse on itself and it'll get all like wonky and it melts in the sun really easily. <laughs> so that's kind of why I want to finish this off. My goal will be to finish this in this project um, because I want to finish this before summer because this definitely will melt on me. It'll melt like if it's even slightly above room temperature. Um, so once it's summer, this is going to be gone. And this is also a really nice color right now. It's even though it's really sheer, I still really like a dark berry for winter. And I mean, since it's a lip balm and these actually are very moisturizing and really good as lip balms, um, since it's a lip balm, I'll have no problem getting through this because I tend to just wear lip balms at work. Once, once I get there and I take my lipstick off to eat breakfast or whatever, I pretty much just put lip balms on because I really can't be bothered. So I think I'll be able to go through this pretty quickly. Oh, I marked on my paper. I don't usually do this for these rolling style projects um, or like these um, roulette rolling style projects, but I figured since, spoiler, I'm rolling in two lip products, I just marked them. And this is where I, oh, I marked it like this because it's slanted. This is where I am. Um, it's this first one and I have that much product to get through, but um, I definitely think I can finish this before the end of the project because I, even without trying to pan it, I finished the like nude version of this and um, just within a few months of wearing it. So these do go pretty fast if you use them daily, um, which I definitely will because they're super comfortable and really pretty. The next prompt that I rolled in, as I mentioned, is a lip product and this was for the prompt Black Eyed Peas, which is any black product or black packaging and as you can see this is black packaging and this is the kvd studded lip cream in the shade crucifix and this is what it looks like i'm kind of panning all of these in different projects and this was the last one that wasn't in a project so here it is it's just a regular matte dark brown and i marked it on my paper as well so this one i'm not sure Okay, there we go. This one, I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to finish this um, by the end of the project. I only have one more update and then the fin finale for this project, so I only have two months to finish it. Even though it's it's just a mini um, and it's a really tiny lipstick, I don't have much left, but I'm currently panning like four brown lipsticks other than this, so... Yeah, this is probably just going to be a big challenge. I'm not going to pressure myself to finish it off. Sorry, Roxy wanted to get in, even though she just wanted to get out. Um, anyway, um, I'm not going to pressure myself to try to finish this during this project because I am panning so many other lipsticks. Eventually, I am going to try to finish this sometime this year. But for now, I'll just see how far I can get with this during the next two months. And yeah, we'll see. Also, I forgot to mention, return of the MTV shirt. I meant to wear it last update and then I just didn't. And then here we are now. But anyway, that's all for this update. I think, I don't know. Let me try to think if I can, oops, I forgot one item. Um, so the last prompt that I rolled was um, Bump It, which 
I feel like so many people did not know what this prompt was when they got it, but if you didn't know, Bump It was like that thing, if you remember like from Jersey Shore or just pretty much like anyone in the 2000s wanted to have like the little bump in their hair for volume or whatever, like if you remember Snooki, you pretty much think of that. Um, that's she would have had like three bumpets in her hair it was just like a little piece of plastic that you put in your hair to make it look like you had a bump there but anyway <laughs> the um, prompt for that is anything that adds volume um, so for this it's a little bit boring but this was the only thing that I could put in because I don't have any lip, pl lip plumpers or anything like that so I'm just putting in my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal and this is in the shade Black Brown. This is my everyday mascara and I've already had this open for about a month and I usually only get about um, two months of use on these mascaras, give or take like a week. Um, so, oh, that's, it's looking a little gross. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it. This is a really popular mascara. It's my favorite mascara just in general. Um, and this isn't going to be difficult for me to finish up. I'll definitely have it done by the end of the project. And now that truly <laughs> is all I have um, for this update. So yeah, I, I don't know if this will be done by next update. Definitely by the end of the project. I also think I'll definitely have this done by the end of the project, but I don't think by next update because um, this is still a lot of product to get through in just one month. If you can hear a weird noise, it's my cat licking a cardboard box. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah. Oh, and then also I definitely will have the Pat McGrath quads rolled out of, technically I already have one of them rolled out, but I'll have that prompt rolled out by next time. So that is um, one prompt for sure that I'll have done by next update. And yeah, if I can have like a good amount of, if I can have a good amount of rollouts by, um, next update I will roll in a few more things but if I just have like one rollout and I get a prompt that's kind of difficult to do I might not roll anything in just because I don't want to set just some like lame goal to try to get it finished in one month between update 11 and the finale so yeah that's all for now thank you for watching um I'll try to get my next video up soon and film it in front of the regular setup but other than that please just bear with me thank you bye